I just want to say thank you. And I just hope that everything falls out how it needs to fall out and these officers are charged. I'm really hurt. Father's Day is coming up and all I can do is just think about what if my husband was still here. And Ms. Miller, I know that um, if you could step over and just decide. Your point is you're trying to find out the full facts, the full truth, everything that happened and everybody who should be accountable here. Is that how you're looking at this now as you take in what the district attorney said this afternoon and, and try to get your head around uh, what his uh, presentation is going to be to the grand jury once it, he is able to present it? Yes. In, in your own words, I mean, how did you react to the information that he was able to help you understand? Um, I was appalled. I was very grateful that he's coming forth with the truth. All right. Last one. Laura, I have a quick question, if you don't mind. Um, as I understand from the district attorney during his statements, he mentioned that you were taking in this information in real time, just like you all were. Right. When you heard some of the details, some of the raw, disturbing details about what happened to Richard uh, with a more than two minute delay to render life-saving aid, kicking him, stepping on him. When you heard those details, I can only imagine what you were feeling. Right, I was very hurt. I can't imagine being there, because I don't know what I would have done if I would have seen that for myself. But I felt everything that he felt just by hearing what he went through. And it hurt, it hurt really bad. Thank you. Thank you.